Hello. This is the uh, main propulsion system for the zero emissions barge that I'm building. <laughs> I <coughs> designed it and invented it myself. So it's based on like a nine horsepower motor. <clears throat> the gearing takes it down from 3000 RPM to 30 RPM, so a 100 to 1 ratio in uh, two sets of gears. And with a 45 degree pitch on the blade, on the fin, and with a 10 foot sweep, that should be about six knots. And of course you can propel it. And there's two handles there, two people can. Propel it. <clears throat> I'm super curious how fast I'll be able to do it by hand. Uh, that's the uh, gearing cover I made, so to keep it quiet and to keep little fingers out of all those gears. I was, I mean, I must say I was really surprised at how loud it was. I thought it was going to be way quieter. I, I like the chain on the secondary gear that you can just see there now, but the one I'm covering, I think could actually be a belt drive, like a tooth belt drive, and that would be way quieter. Plus I have some other ideas, like it's on a big box there. Oh, so the whole thing kicks up. And that's the mid-level, so it uh, that's in with the keel, and then that brings it completely out of the water. So if you're in shallow water, you can have it uh, at the mid setting. <clears throat> so this is uh, varying the pitch. That device controls how far the blade can push from side to side. Therefore, it's an infinitely variable pitch. And that is adjusting the mm, the center, as in to fine-tune to make sure it's even on both sides, flipping from side to side. I figure if this breaks in the middle of nowhere, I can fix it. That's part of the positive qualities of this uh, unit, this propulsion system. I should, be, I should be able to weld on board, no problem, with the uh, electrical system. This is copper powder, three micron copper powder, mixing, <clears throat> mixing into epoxy. I, I actually I don't really remember what ratio I used, but it's just you know make it thick. Gorgeous, eh? That of of course is applying to the blade. Ah, uh, right, and here. I, ha I had aspired to put um, tubercles on the front of it, on the leading edge, like um, the uh, whales have. Um, but uh, I just, I don't know, I just didn't get around to it. There's so many things to do. And I can always do it later. Makes it, um, the tubercles make it actually quite a bit more efficient at when it's uh, stalling, when the hydrofoil is stalling. Um, and it makes it quieter in the water itself, too.
Oops. Uh, of course, that's just epoxy and fiberglass. Oh, right, and this is at uh, 2.85 of the length of the cord of the hydrofoil is the thickest part of it. So I've gone along it and measured <clears throat> and created uh, and made it that way. And, of course, before that, I was... fine-tuning the shape of the blade. Kind of a satisfying process. Oh, that's a big piece of sandpaper glued to a uh, one-inch piece of plywood. <clears throat> to the trailing edge <clears throat> so when it doesn't get so it doesn't get damaged as easily filling in mistakes with chunks of wood all right and that's doing the leading edge and of course this is further in the past this is I think this was the original gluing of the plywood onto the Just getting the basic shape, all oh, that's fixable. And of course, this is further in the past, gluing all the plywood together for the blade. That's just making stuff up as I go along. Just whatever you do, whatever you need to do to make it work, right? This is aligning all those uh, those little triangles that I've attached to it. And this is further in the past. Doubling up the pipe where it needs to be strongest.
attaching the uh, pitch regulator, I guess you'd call it. regulator. Those are pieces from a turnbuckle because you have to get a left hand thread and a right hand thread. So that the arms come in and out at the same time. That's the uh, that's my homemade welder. I actually, I was thinking of making a video about that thing too. Oh, that thing's awesome. Perhaps you'll notice that there's actually a trigger. I can uh, click the current on and off in my hand. This is the very first test of the uh, electric motor. Yay! Get those shafts aligned properly was was very careful carefully done <laughs> and even before that look at that beginning. <clears throat> Tuck 
quite a while to design it actually. There's all sorts of different options. <laughs> and that's a cute newt. <laughs> 